A word of the day. A word of the day comes from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And it says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Okay, I'll read it one more time. And do not be conformed to this world, but be conformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. What is the renewing of our minds? Well, basically the renewing of our mind is, is not Relying, remembering what the world does, but what God does, and transforming. God gives us a clean mind, heart, and spirit when we come to know him. And we realize that the things in the world are not the things of God. And we seek the things of God. You know, that's the transformation that God does in us. The things that go on in this world, we realize they're they're just not, they're the ways of man and they're not the ways of God. And we want to do the things that's acceptable and perfect for this is the will of God to do what God wants us to do instead of following the ways of man. And we can never go wrong with that. In Ephesians chapter four, verses 23 and 24 says, and being renewed in the spirit of your mind, And that you put on the new man and woman, which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. When we come to God, we are a new creation. We are new men and women. We, we throw away all the old stuff. We let it all go. And we put on his truth and righteousness. What is the stuff that that God tells us and shows us when we come to him. He tells us we need to love him and love people most and most of all. He tells us we need to forgive those that persecute us. And he tells us we need to pray. What else did he tell us that vengeance is his? He will take care of the people who persecute us and do badly and do deceitfully. These are the things that we understand now as being a new man and women of Christ. We learn that the battles are really not ours, but the battles are the Lord's. Praise the Lord for that. In Ephesians 5, chapter 8 through 11, it says, For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Find out what is acceptable to the Lord. We're finding out now what is acceptable to the Lord. He speaks to each and every one of us, and he takes away the things that are not acceptable to him. Because we don't want it anymore. We only want the things that are of God. But because we are his, we are a new creation. So as we go on this sanctifying journey that he has us on, he does that. He does that work in us. Praise the Lord. And having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. When we start to see the difference between light and darkness, we understand that hanging out with the darkness is not a fruitful thing for us. It's not a good thing for us because darkness does not like the light. And we should have no fellowship with any works of darkness because it will only bring us to a point where it will try and take us away from God. And we do not want that to happen. Amen. 
And Psalms 51 verse 10 says, Create in me a new heart, O Lord, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Praise the Lord. We want God to continue the steadfast work in the spirit that he continues to put in us. He wants us to clean his heart, to take out all those things that we can't do ourselves. We can't. We can't forgive. We can't love like he does. But he can put that spirit within us. You know, we can try to stop fighting our battles, but if it's in us to do it, we'll just keep doing it because he has to take that out of us. He has to cleanse us of the things that we do that are not of him. And fill us with that steadfast spirit to just continue to call upon him. When we feel like we need to want to do these things, we have to call upon him and call upon that spirit to help us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this word. We just thank you that you're doing a mighty work in each and every one of us. You're giving us a new heart, a new spirit. You're helping us to just walk in your ways and to follow you and to follow your ways and not the ways of man. And that's what this Christian walk is about. Putting our trust and our faith in you, knowing that you know what's good for us and not the world. And so I pray, Lord, whatever things we're still holding on to in the world, that you just get rid of it that you just separated from us and fill us, continue to fill us with your spirit, your righteousness, your truth, and your love. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.